know that family is everything to me. My father said a man's land is his kingdom. You are not going to buy our souls with your jobs and your money. But if it wasn't for my taxi money, you wouldn't have had that estate. Well, at least we know that our ancestors both love money. You have a good marriage. Don't mess it up, brother. Hey, I chocolate. Uh, well, I mean, who doesn't want to live at Echelon Estate? Uh, uh. Introducing a new daily drama with an award-winning cast. To the dream. To the dream. The Estate starts Monday the 5th of April at 7 on 3. If that's anything to go by, I certainly want to watch this. Now, South Africans can expect this riveting new daily drama called The Estate, uh, which will be launched on SABC3 in April this year. The Estate will probe uh, very topical issues in the country, such as the question of land, identity, corruption, patronage, money, both old and new money, power, class, and of course, equality. And the story is centered on a gated suburb, which... Uh, uh, residents view um, as a haven but the trouble is however brewing outside of those gates as residents of the neighborhood township are angry about a land claim concerning that very estate now two of the actors from this uh, much anticipated daily drama as uh, Dumom Chali and uh, Don Mlangeni join us now to talk about this gentlemen welcome to morning live thanks so much for being with us this morning thank you thank you for having us <laughs> okay, um, uh, Don is saying something, but uh, the sound is not great, so hopefully we can sort that out. Uh, let me come to you in the meantime, Stumo. Um, in terms of yes. the concept for the estate, where did this stem from, uh, given that it's going to deal with some very contemporary uh, topics in South Africa? Uh, from what I'm believing, uh, more than anything else, it's, it's the idea that, um, of course, uh, SABC3 is having a new, what I call it, a new facelift. And with all the shows that are now being, uh, you know, shut down, they, they're really looking for a new show, a show that's going to deal with the issues of this country that are so current that we are faced with uh, as, as the people, uh, specifically black people, especially with the issues of land and the issues of identity, who we are in this world. And of course, the issues of deliverance uh, within government. So, and of course, we, 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 we coming in after one of the most amazing shows that was in this country, which was Estego. So there's a lot of pressure as well with that. Indeed, a lot of pressure because, as we know, South Africans absolutely love their soapies. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to live up to all of the expectations that are out there. Uh, for, Don, sure. for you, let's talk about the characters and the character that you play. And it's just amazing because, uh, you know, these characters that you guys play are, uh, they are larger than life. And, and, and people, in mm. some instances, really, they, they, they hold you to those characters that you play on TV. Uh, when we were dialing up, Don, uh, the entire crew here were saying, ooh, la tache. You know, like, they, they, they still <laughs> even remember this. Who's too much la tache? You know? <laughs> so let's talk yes, about this saying. new character that you'll be playing. I'll be playing Shadrach uh, Mukhoban, and that's the total, uh, the, the representative, the voice of the people of the, the squad camp, the guy who's pulled behind the fight against the invasion of the so called the elite, the rich, led by him, the Paratrios, and the aunt who is an MC. We'll be trying to. Uh, uh, what am I saying? Uh, Shadrach will be fighting against these people, fighting against all odds to, to save them, to save the people of, of the Squadra Camp. Okay, uh, I have to apologize just for the poor quality there from Don's line. Um, we'll try and boost it as much as we can as we go along. And maybe, Don, we can ask you to remove your headphones. Uh, maybe that will help us somewhat. Uh, but all the I same... 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure, but also you need to unplug it as well as we uh, remove it and unplug it from the laptop as well. Yeah. Hopefully that will be better. Well. Oh! <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's better. I was advised to use. I was advised to use headphones. <laughs> no, they misled you. Those people misled you. Hopefully, you won't be misleading the people in uh, the estate there, <laughs> Don. I will definitely not. The storyline of this show is close to my heart. I will definitely not mislead my people. <laughs> Still, let's talk about your character. Uh, I'm, I play the character called Umuzi uh, Uparatwa uh, Ukwade, and he is. Uh, He's a self-made billionaire, uh, but he's faced with many issues, and one of those issues is identity. And, and, and another issue that, you know, as an actor, you sort of try to find out what's happening within society that you also want to uh, implement within the storyline. And one of those things is uh, the idea of, uh, or should I say, that the problem that we have as, as, as men, which is narcissism, and that's one of the problems that, for me, is somehow in line with uh, gender-based violence. And it's one of the issues also that we implement within the storyline. But it's, it's a story that, uh, that's pretty, as Don would say, it's pretty close, it's pretty close to our heart in that we, this guy, uh, Umuzi Paratswayo, he's trying to build uh, 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 the future of, of black business and the future of the idea of what black excellence is. But within that, he is so caught up with the corruption and misleads mm -hmm. his own people. As, as well, we know within government, there are those people that are in our society. So we, we're really looking at, at ourselves and really wanting the audience to ask themselves questions instead of just watching a show and say, oh, oh he, th those dresses look nice. Oh, the new hair looks good. He's dressing well. But to actually have a discussion uh, as you're watching the show, a family sitting down having a discussion, such shows like Is Dingo really pulled that off so well. So we're really trying to, you know, follow those footprints. And the great thing is that we have people like Uta Don in the show. So we are pretty guided well. Mm. And, uh, you know, Don, um, speaking of these very topical touch points, um, they are important, especially given where we find ourselves as a country. But, of course, uh, mm -hmm. that fine line between keeping the audience entertained and at the same time mm -hmm. creating a, an awareness and a consciousness around some very pivotal topics, such as identity, which is a huge thing, um, especially for mm -hmm. South Africans, given our checkered past. And and uh, also the land question, which even now is topical. So I want to know, it, just in terms of uh, shooting, uh, uh, are, are you incorporating current events? Because we know the land question in terms of the bill before Parliament right now is going to become a very pivotal one. I think the story on its own, it's current and relevant and fits the, the, the period that we are in. However, some other challenges would remain with the writers to improve the story so that they, uh, they synchronize with the present happenings or the present improvements or whatever discussion is made in Parliament. But however, as we do it now, we are current and on point. And mm. most of the characters are not far-fetched. They are characters that are close to reality, what is really happening in the informal settlements and what is happening in the inside those estates where the, the elite lives. And they are a true reflection of what is happening in our country. I'm talking about the elites now, who are a true reflection of what is uh, it's transpiring, what is going on in our country. There are people who are close to those who are in power. That gives them access to, to finance and opportunities to exploit mm. the, the people of South Africa who are not uh, informed enough to understand those dynamics. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, Stumo, uh, uh, Don said it with so much passion. I almost felt mm. your proximity <laughs> to largesse there. <laughs> 
but you know, <laughs> uh, in in terms of that, um, again, you know, the sort of topics that are dealt with in the corruption space. Um, let's talk about some of uh, the, the the issues that you will be touching on because. This morning, for example, we were speaking to uh, the Department of Social Development. We're talking about lockdown. Yes. We're talking about uh, service relief of distress grants of 350 rand, which is supposed to go to deserving South Africans, ends up mm. in the pockets of people already in jobs. So, you know, all of these issues, of course, are going to be pivotal. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, definitely. Uh, and as you said, you know, we, at the same time, we try to be not too... Um, to held up by just the facts and, and, and what's happening currently. We also have to be more entertaining and, if, and anything else. So with that, we've, we've really uh, called upon some, some of the strong actors within the country. I mean, it's a, it's a great cast that they've assembled from or Linda to Oman Clementine coming in who, who looks the part and sound like the politicians that that we supposedly looking for those uh, services to be delivered, and uh, I mean you just really have to watch the show uh, April the fifth uh, on SABC three because it, it's really it's something new, uh, it, it's something fresh, and you know you, you get to see some of these characters. Uh, in in situation because uh, there's nothing more greater than an actor being thrown into a circumstance and having them come out of it and and having them tell a true story, you know. And uh, yeah, um, just uh, yeah, just watch it on the fifth of April. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely gonna watch it. What time is it, uh, Don? What time on uh, April the fifth? It's at seven o'clock from the fifth of April. Come join us um, and entertain South Africa. Educate the South African masses about mm. subject matters that affect them daily. So it's going to be edutainment at its best. Edutainment. And, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Indeed. No, I'll tell you what. Um, I am certainly looking forward to this. Uh, it absolutely, it sounds fantastic. It seems rivet, yes. uh, riveting. So looking forward to all of that. And thank you so much. Can't wait to see um, the roles that the two of you will be portraying as well. Try not to do it too well uh, because then you're going to, you know, get other problems going forward but we really For appreciate sure. your time <laughs> Uh, that was, of course, Duma Mchali, Don Mlangeni, actors on this new up-and-coming series on SABC3. It's a drama. It's called The Estate. And uh, that will be launched on April the 5th at 7. April the 5th at 7. Diarize it. I certainly will be watching. I'm sure Leanne and I are going to talk the following day about uh, this one. But uh, that is all we have time for this